Good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, we're going to be trading the RV strategy, and we'll be trading NVIDIA with 500 shares. Please read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor, so you should seek the advice of somebody you trust. This is just an entertainment channel with demonstration videos showing you different strategies and tips and tricks to hopefully help you on your journey to become a better day trader. The whole purpose of Day Trading for Success, our channel, is to try to get you to make $100 a day, $200 a day, $300 a day, mostly primarily with scalping and day trading methods. So we have a lot of custom scripts we offer for free on the channel. Um, most of them are in episode 83, but there's others scattered about. Uh, keep in mind, guys, with the custom scripts that are the new ones now, they're strictly for the TD Ameritrade that's on Swab, uh, no longer on um, the Thinkorswim that's on Swab, no longer on the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim because all my stuff has moved over to Swab. So I'll be taking the older ones and converting them to Swab. Right now, their older ones are for the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. Uh, but the newest scalping indicator that's been out the last couple of episodes is for the swab think or swim. So we're right in the middle of that transition, so it makes it kind of hard and complicated. But all these layouts are also now for think for the think or swim on swab, and they're all free. Uh, I'll have links to them. This is uh, the one that I use for the RV strategy. And then this is the scalpers indicator, which is really something that changed uh, trading when this came out. Because if for all the people that have trouble reading level two, this is absolutely the next best thing. The buyer are the green, the sellers are the red. Pull that up a little bit. And then the blue is essentially the volume. So it goes from level two um, to the time and sales. The time and sales make the candlestick patterns. The candlestick patterns make the uh, scalping indicator. These actually happen simultaneously. And that all happens before you can go one. And that's how fast it moves. So this is the only thing that's not already happened. Uh, and then this happens a split second later and shows you how those sales were happened. Basically, this is how much the bid. I'm bidding that much to buy that share. They're saying, but I'm asking this much. That's not enough. Whatever. The market maker crosses a bridge. The market maker decides um, what the price is going to end up being when the person the, um, presses the bid button to buy it. Right. So when they decide to buy it, then the market maker tries to meet you in the middle. They, of course, mark it up unless you're it depends on what program you have with your broker on the platform you're trading on. A lot of times you're charged by by trades or by share shares. Um, I recommend by trades well over shares. <laughs> so, um, I trade on Lightspeed, too, and I definitely do it by trades. But here on Thinkorswim, it's just fractions of a cent when you make a trade. So that even if you're trading, you know, 10, 20 million dollars of value in shares, you're paying just a few dollars, you know, so it's great. It's better to, in my opinion, let them mark it up in between their little pennies and you don't get charged these fees. But everybody has a different way to look at that. Um, and it just depends on how good you are at managing your trades if you're doing, uh, um, you know, sell the ask and buy the bid or, and you're riding a, a momentum uh, stock at the open. You know, there's different ways to look at it. You, um, but anyway, so uh, this is a, a one minute. The scalpers indicator down here is the day. Basically, the RV strategy, rainbound strategy, and you're trying to you create the very first range of a $25 billion market cap, minimum market cap stock with a $1 billion float uh, minimum. So it's going to be a stock that's consolidating and moving sideways for the most part. Now, NVIDIA, as you can see, these are, this is a day chart. It was kind of moving straight up. But we do have consolidation in here within these ATR ranges. So the ATR range is based on what was the close of yesterday, $875.28. And then what was the ATR over a 14-day period, meaning the average true range of that stock over 14 days? What was its range? Well, it shows it right down here. So when I go back over the candle, Look at that. It says it moves $37.44 in a day. So it's moving $37.44 between here and here. The center of that is the close of the previous day. So you basically take the $37.44, you divide it in two, you subtract half of it to get the ATR low, and add half of it to that to get the ATR high. That's your opening range. Now, within that range, the RV strategy um, wants you to pivot off trade and come in and out of trades based on levels, uh, pivot point levels, price levels. So how do you get those levels? 
Well, there's a whole strategy. There's a whole book called Day Trading Volume 1. And why I mention a book, I'm going to tell you, I have all that what I think are the best books to get for actually. There's a lot of good trading. Somebody emailed me this recently. There's a lot of good trading books. What I'm promoting here are the books to tell you exactly how to trade, not just overall, all trading you know, from the beginning to end of all time, this is what you do for trading, which it seems to be what most of the books do. And then when you try to find a book that says, well, you know, this is what you do. You, you, you get this set up. You go in here. You go out there. This is what that strategy is called. This is the different ways you can trade it. I mean, the, the day trading volume series, day trading volume one, two, and three are centering on that. And I know day trading volume four is going to be about the open strategy. So I have links to those best-selling books. There's a reason why they're best-selling. And I also have a link for um, trading in the zone. There's a reason why that's best-selling because that helps you with the psychological and the confidence and how you should approach trading um, for your mindset. All those other big books I was talking about that, that lots of people buy when you first start trading, we all buy them, right? All these books. Um, but they're very, very general. It's really hard to find a book that focuses in on, I think you should do this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And that's why it's trading in the zone, uh, best loser wins, the day trading volume series, one, two, and three, all great ones. Um, even the trading journal logbook. I'm a big uh, proponent of logging your trades, stopping, take the time, think about your thought process. Um, I would also get trade, um, trader view, and then you can check out your metrics on your actual screen. But logging by hand is something you should really do so you can look back and say, this is why I wanted to take that trade. I wrote it down right there. Here's what I was thinking about the market that day, about that stock that day, these pivot points. Um, so yeah, the Trading Journal Logbook with the Open Strategy Criterium is a great book for that. Day Trading Volume 1 is a great book that teaches you how to do this exact strategy I'm going to do right now, and then Trading in the Zone, those three. But then if you want to know about patterns, uh, the, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook is the Day Trading Volume number two and that's i'm going to be calling patterns today it's essential you know your patterns absolutely essential okay guys that's my cat and that means we're going to have good luck today right we all know what that means she's coming here to bother me how are you doing so after you get that um range then you go into the four hour and you look for pivot points how many of the four hour candles close within that range the red and the green lines here so there's quite a lot of them that closed right so you mark those where the wicks and the bodies are so that's where the stock has turned around before over those period of days so you're going to want to make notes of those so i marked them with one hour and four hour to try to create channel sizes that I feel comfortable trading within. The one hours are the reds and the four hours are the blues. And the other way I mark, I'm speeding up a little bit because we don't have much time before I start trading. Um, and then I mark the Fibonacci over a 10 day period on a five day on a five minute chart, left to right always. It could be high to low or low to high. It's always left to right. And that's gonna give me additional pivot points. I made two of them within there, which is really good. Actually this rated pretty high as an RV traded stock in the day trading volume one today, we got an eight, which typically we don't do with NVIDIA. We just know we're going to have fun with it. So this is, no, that's a new low. Oh, yeah, here it was. So it's marked right here and here. So high to low in this case, left to right. And that gave us some more um, pivot points within the uh, um, ATR. So now you have all these pivot points that have made channels. Now you respect them till you don't. That's what you do. So I have a 15-minute chart here so I look for um, bigger moves let me just actually see if I can move this over here a little bit here let me get this ready so I'll be calling the ball for everybody today although they are responsible for their own trades uh, I already took just a little trade a minute ago we'll all be trading like I said the 500 shares here's your level two active trader and then I showed you how these other charts were minimized um, and, but this is what I'm mostly trading off of, my one minute. So what will I be looking at? I'll be looking at the volume profile, which is right in here, set for intraday. There's a video that shows you just how to do this. This is essential that you see the action in here and how to read it, the point of control or what I call the magnet. Very, very important to have it set for intraday for this strategy. Everybody has different strategies. Now, this strategy came out in March of last year and pretty much changed day trading forever. You know, thousands and thousands of people are trading this strategy and doing very well with it. So if you're already a scalper, you have a leg up on how to do this. But it's basically 
I don't want to say foolproof, but giving you a really uh, um, definitive way to trade channels and pivot points. Uh, but there's still risk. That's why trading in the zone is a good book. Um, making a trading plan. You've got to make a trading plan, guys. Now, this one bases your, your win-loss ratio on the channel size. So you want to get um, your share sizes based on the channel size, which is there's no other strategy that does that. I find it really unique and very helpful. And then when it breaks the channel or your, your day plan, then your, your trading plan, then you know that's your either your way to take profit on the trade or to get out of the trade. So read the book because it literally tells you when to go in and out. If it breaks a the channel, then comes back, you know what you're supposed to do. Um, and it's pretty accurate. You'll see when you follow the guidelines in the book, it's pretty accurate. But as with anything, it takes practice. And as with anything, one person could be very successful and another person could fail. So don't try not to beat yourself up too bad. It's usually if you're failing, um, it's, it's here. You know, you're having trouble. It, it, I always say if you are afraid to hold the trade through a channel, your share size is too high. It's too high. Even if you're just trading one share, trade that way till you're just like, I don't care. You know, you're very comfortable with it, right? Follow the rules and then go up to five shares and then 10 shares and maybe 50, um, you know, and then try to make $100 a day, $200 a day, $300 a day. That's what day trading for success is really all about um, is just trying to get that in there, you know, for, for having an edge really to get in here, which is just basically an edge like Mark Douglas says is just a higher probability of being accurate. So you want to try to get a higher probability of being accurate. So that's your edge. Like, so everything you can get that gives you a higher probability, the volume profile, the Fibonacci levels, the uh, one hour and four hour levels, the ATR, an actual strategy, a trading plan. When chart, charts line up, when the volume springs just before you're about to make the, the, a, a jump into the, the, uh, your trade, you know, things like that, all spelled out. In that book, this is not big advertising, but the book, I'm just saying, like, if you're new, there's uh, professional traders describing how they trade. I mean, so you need to get the right books and learn this stuff the best way you can and then learn your patterns. We got about one minute, guys. So like I said, I'll be calling the ball for everybody, but they take their own trades. Um, and uh, I'm looking to bounce off here and go long, guys. It kind of depends on what it's going to do in the next uh, few seconds here. But I'm looking to go long right now, pivoting off of this. So I'm getting ready to go in. I'm looking to see if it drops back down to 855. Yeah, I'm going to take it right there, guys. I got it 855.77. Oh, shoot, I went in a little early. Sorry, guys. I, I went in about 30 seconds early. So, um, And it still kept going down. So Now, you'll see me reverse a lot. Some people have had trouble with think or swim on the reverse key. I think it's because you need to make sure you have double the amount of money. It's not going to, uh, when you try to reverse, it's not going to reconcile your amount of money. So you need to have double the amount so it has enough to draw to make the reverse. That's what I was told by one of the technicians. But I think some platforms are just having trouble doing it generally. Now, you don't have to reverse. That's kind of an advanced way to trade. So basically, I will do the... Um, I, I have many times just bought, sold, bought, sold really quick. Um, reverse just makes it a little quicker and, quicker, and I like to stay into in position. I'm going to short off that. I, I'm, I'm reversing off that one hour. Yeah, okay, so that was maybe not right. It looked like it was going to, looks like it wasn't going to do it. You know, I saw the sellers, uh, yeah, okay. Well, well, I'm back into a winning trade there, so. <sighs> Sometimes I get a little distracted because I'm talking to you guys and trying to say what you should do, and then I lose my perspective, and these guys are waiting for me to say something. And But they're really taking their own trades, but I understand they're waiting. I'm calling the ball, so uh, I'm going to get ready to reverse back down there where we got in. That's what I'm looking for in the, the 855-ish range. Everybody's green, so that's good. Looking for the 855 for it to pull back down. Boy, this is moving a lot of points in the channels here. We saw these channels, uh, and we knew that the 500 shares was going to make us a little safer than the 1,000 shares because these are, these are big channels. These are one, two, three, even four-point channels. So, um, yeah, 
I'm just holding strong. I'm looking what the market maker's giving me. I'm not going to take these little $200 trades here. So I'm looking for it to get back, to go back down, guys. It could slip the entire distance of this right here. So um, we need it to we need it to drop before, or we'll just lose money on the on the flip. So let's see if we can get back to at least to eight fifty. Wow, is it just going to go up? I thought it was going to I thought it was going to fade there. I'm looking for eight fifty six, eight fifty five. And just take your time. Just take a minute. It's only been a minute. <laughs> so there's 857, 56. We'll go down to 50. Oh, what did I get that at? 855, 57. That was a good jump in my direction. Cleared 4K. And now I am long at 855, 57. 855, 57 on a long. Some of you are still short. Short, you better. No, you're doing good. I'm doing bad because I went long. Yeah. I have a two thousand dollar max loss per trade. Wow! So you guys that stayed in longer did. I thought it wasn't going to make it to that four hour. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. Am I actually going to get shaken out here? Oh wow! What is my position short? So, so I should have sold there. I didn't sell fast enough. Okay, will I recover? Okay, so I almost I went back and forth. I thought buy sell buy. I'm not used to getting uh, hitting my max loss like that. That would kind of threw me. Wow! So now I'm glad I didn't. Look at that. Look at the recovery from that $2,000 guy. So I got lucky that I didn't see that. When I hit my max loss sometimes, unless I'm really just hovering over, waiting, I, I take a, a beat or two anyway. And sometimes it's beyond my max loss, but, you know, that's what I'll do. Wow. I'm going to reverse again right there and bank that. I've got it at 857.82, guys, on a short. Yeah, I mean, this, this is still stair-stepping down here. So you look at the scalp as indicated. The sellers were way higher there, and they're way higher... Well, they were it just flipped a candle, but they're higher right now. Look at the sellers. So, I, I think I'm going the, uh, I think I'm going the right way on the short here. So, let's see if we can get it back down. Now, it got down to 854 here. 854 is where it seems to have turned around prior. So I'm not gonna, cause I I would have I would have lost that at two thousand dollars. This time I'm going to wait. I'm not going to. I'm going to let it get back down to the 854 range before I try to reverse. So at least I'm in a better. What did I get it at? 854.80. I got it at 854.80 there. Um, and that was too soon. So this is 8.53. Wow. So it could do it to me again. So I'm going long at 854.80. Look at it. It is really respecting this four hour, guys. I don't know why the one hour. I forgot to change the color. That should be red. Um, I'm just going to go in and do that right now. That's how, that's how annoyed I am. Okay. I give more weight to the four hours, so I don't want to forget that if it comes back down here. So now the point of control is up here. That is really, it, it, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's trended down on the one minute. So this is a reversal sign here with an inverted hammer as it came down on the five minutes. So the five minute is telling you it's going to reverse. The 15 minute is looking like a reversal pattern as well. So... I think being long and getting ready to reverse again. Let's see if it if it ping pongs in the channels. So I'm going to get ready to reverse at 8:59 depending on what the so no the buyers are here but they weren't as high as the sellers so it's looking like it's it's going to turn around again. So um Oh, 
okay, I looked away at you guys, and it broke through that level. So it hasn't been through that in a while. It broke through the next, le- next level, too. So it broke through this one. It, this one hour had been turning it around, and now it's up to this one hour. And look at the buyers strong here. So this is not a time to bail. See the scalpers indicator? This is a very important indicator, guys. Uh, this is free, so you can get this here. Uh, all the layouts, the custom scripts, everything's free. We're not selling courses. We just want you to watch and hopefully get better day trading. Um, and that's it. And that might sound too magnanimous for you, and but you can look for yourself on the channel. We're not, we're not doing anything but trying to uh, pay it forward. That's it. So let's see. But that doesn't stop the haters. <laughs> Just took me about six months from talking with other YouTubers that have trading channels and stuff to just learn to just slough them off. And then I heard from Sean Cannell, which you guys might be um, watching. The, the channel's being revamped based on Sean Cannell's vice, uh, who's a YouTube champion guy, whatever. And uh, they're changing all the thumbnails this week, and they're deleting like 50 videos. It's painful. And, um, wow, this is a good trade. Guys, so let me just uh, – but I kind of like to know what you guys think uh, about the revamp. It was painful to get rid of the videos. The idea is you don't have repetitive videos. You have new videos. But with trading, you know, they're archives. So I don't know. It, but people uh, – the biggest feedback we got were people were confused by the inconsistent um, thumbnail pictures, the smaller writing. Holy mackerel, look at this go. I'm holding, guys. Look at the scalpers indicator. There's no reason to get out. Let's look at the four hour then. So that's 6350. So again, we want to look at even dollar and half dollars for potential uh, reasons to turn around. This is a three thousand dollar trade. So typically, I will bank this, but the scalpers indicator is telling me do not get out of this position. So it may go all the way up to the fib, or obviously it may go anywhere. But we're looking. That was a reversal. But it didn't reverse pattern there, but it hasn't. Re- now, it's, now it's banging on this four hour, $63 even. Wow. So is it going to hit 64? I'm going to ban- I'm going to turn around that VWAP. I, it's like 64, guys. I'm going to tr- try to turn around near 64 if it actually goes up there, or I'm going to turn around if it starts to fade here so we don't lose this. I don't want to lose this. So, uh, yeah, you're getting a sign of a reversal on this on this uh, candle here. It might not that that could be it. Sixty three might be it. See, some of you have already reversed back. Wow, there it goes again. So you just got scared. Wow, that almost hit sixty four, then dropped all the way back down. There's some serious action here. I'm gonna take that. 64.31. I got it on a hop up, but it might just keep going. But I really wanted to bank that. So with 500 shares over 11K, it's pretty good in the first 10 minutes. So um, so 2K uh, minimum, uh, maximum loss per trade, and 5K for the day means I'm out. But I'm not going to lose 5K for the day, clearly unless I just really plummet and don't follow any trading plan whatsoever. So uh, still still going way up here. But luckily I'm in a position where uh, it's okay. Um, what I'm doing right now is okay, even though the sellers are strong. So once I got 864, so I got it way up here. So this is great. Now it's another good trade. So here we go. Looking at that one that one hour to turn around on. What is that at? That's at uh, 61, 860, 860, 861, 75. Oh, it already broke it. 859. Oh, my God. What's that other one down there? That's I'm going to take that right there, guys. 13. I'm going to try to scalp a little in between these channels. 
Let's see what the slippage is like. 450. Did I get that? I'm short again. You can you can lose track here, so you got to be careful with the little scalps. Um, you can end up going the wrong way. I'm going short again. Look for it to bank off 860, 859, 50 was where I saw it get down at one point. So I'm looking at the market maker and I'm looking at the patterns. So I reversed again and oh, that was way higher than I thought, 860. Okay, so that wasn't particularly good. Reverse again, broke me over 15. So I'm 860.57, looking for it to get back down to 859.50. Trying to catch these little moves. Uh oh, uh oh, not good. Yep, but I, but I made like a thousand bucks when I started doing these. So I've got a cushion to make a mistake here. And it seems like I'm making a mistake because here it goes up. So still over 14 though. Is it going to go back up to that four hour? How are we doing here, guys? 862. Yeah, it is reconciling. It's going to be another good day, even with 500 shares, it looks like, guys. Okay, so it just stopped here. So I started playing this game right around the consolidation zone down there. I don't know if it's going to pull down the point of control, what it's going to do here. Okay, so the ask had, the bid had 859.50. I'll take that. What is that? I got it at actually 858.75. That was awesome, unless it just keeps going. So uh, I got a great position for it to bank back up, but if it goes down here, that could break me 2K easy, so I got to be careful. Wow, I have a fantastic position for it to turn around right now. I'm going to take a little, a little bit of a profit there. Oh, unless it's just going to go up now, and then I'm, I'm going the wrong way if it's going up, so... I'm looking for it to bank. I was thinking it was going to bank back down again. And I got, did I call that wrong? It does look like it wants to go up, guys. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting worried about being short. Did I actually lose on that trade? I don't know. I've got it at 850. I've got it at 860, 30. Yeah, that's not good. I thought it was at 8.59 when I hit that. <sighs> it was some slippage, or when I pushed it, it was already gone, moved it. So 8.60.39. But I broke 16K briefly. So there's an inverted hammer at the bottom of a very small downtrend telling you it's going to reverse. So um, it's just slowly the volume has been going down with the sellers. So, But the buyers weren't telling me anything either. Look at the lope down there. So right now the buyers are way... Oh, okay, that's a good sign. So we're seeing some price action come in here. Remember, volume profile for intraday, guys. So the 15 minute is now telling people to jump in. So... That's a good sign for my long position. So here you have a potential uh, bear flag, but it didn't it didn't finish. So um, it's too it's not a bull flag. So it would have been this would have been more of a bear flag. It broke halfway down. So um, this is not telling me anything pattern wise, except this was a reversal here. So an inverted hammer reversal right here. So also here, but that's not much of a trend going down. So that's pretty weak for a reversal. But now at least that we're above these red lines. So we're banking off this four, which seems to be really well respected, this four hour. Um, I 
we got here? We don't see anybody that's under 10K. 8K. Okay, 8K is the lowest. Good. There's a bunch of you over 15, so. All right, we're doing good. Can't help but think it could be 30K if the person had got his transfer to trade to trade margin. Can't let that die. Everybody was supposed to be able to trade 1,000 shares today, but didn't happen, and we, we will not trade unless everybody can trade the same amount. So holy mackerel. Here we go again. So we broke that fib now and the other four hour. So we're up to one six. We're up to eight sixty five, eight sixty five fifty two, eight sixty six. I'm gonna turn around that four hour. What did I get at eight sixty six twelve? Oh, look at the point of control come down. Okay, this is this is pulling it up now. So I may have may have made a mistake there. Uh, let's see. Wow, it's gonna hit the point of control now. Um, oh man, is that gonna is that gonna shake me out there? That's over a thousand bucks. I have it at 866.12. Guys, this is not, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to take that hit of $1,000. That's what I'm going to do. That's how painful that was. I took a hit of $1,000 there. Yeah. Wow. Now I'm going to reverse again back over 19 and try it again. That was painful, but I, I shouldn't have reversed there. So let's hope it banks off the point and turns around. I, I take chances. I do. So my worst trade, I think, was a thousand bucks negative, but overall, I'm okay. I think I did I pop me out of the lead? Nope. We're we're much closer though. So I, I have it at um, 869.34 short. So let's see if we can get it back to this FIB before we reverse. This four hour of this FIB, if it's going to start channel trading again, if it breaks up through here, then I just got to take a hit. It's going to kill me again. I think it doesn't want me to break 20. That's what it appears. So this is a sign of a reversal. That would be a trend. Okay, that's a hanging man. Know your patterns. Candlestick Pattern Playbook, guys. There's a link to it. This is speaking to, a, I think it's a 70% chance, so a pretty high chance of a reversal based on that one candlestick right there. So you see that the, that the buyers dropped off as well. So now you're seeing that the sellers are going up on the indicator. Look at that. 80, it was 84, 74 for a minute. So now this is another sign of a reversal. Indecision candle, another hanging man, almost a rickshaw man here telling you it wants to go down. That doesn't mean it's going to. It's just on average they will. So no, if you know, um, you know the percentages, basically, like, you know, like Mark Douglas says, it's the ed getting an edge is just making it a higher probability that you're going to be correct. So you're looking for everything that gives you a higher probability of being correct. So everything you find out, where is the point of control? How do you understand the volume profile and its high and low points? How do you understand the patterns? How do you understand chart alignment? How do you understand volume moving with the direction you want? And with the, with the scalpers indicator, you can actually see what's inside. The buyers are the green, the sellers are the red. So this is really, this is free on the channel to get this. Um, this is really important. Between the RV strategy, basically trading, changing trading forever, and this indicator changing how you scalp forever, um, those two things alone on the channel are, are worth you trying and at least putting in your toolkit to gain your bit of an edge. And then eventually you want to end up with your own strategy by, by taking a little bit from everybody 
and seeing what actually do you feel comfortable with. Because you might not feel comfortable with the way I'm trading. This might be, dude, you're crazy. Just stay in the trend. Just wait, wait it out. Why are you doing these little scalps? That's the most thing I get. I get, um, why don't you just ride this all the way? Why did you go up and down? Why did you do that? Well, because I felt I could make make more money, and it's uh, it's definitely more exciting to me, and hopefully more exciting for you. It's an entertainment channel, but it's not a channel designed to have you lose money because it looks more fun <laughs> than what works for you. So it has to work for you to make money. So trade in a sim first and make sure it works for you because this can be an epic fail for a lot of people because it doesn't just fit the way they like to trade. You know? Wow. So I definitely should have taken that. That was dumb. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna reverse there. I don't I don't I missed it when I was talking to you guys. I, I could have broke twenty K back there, I think. So I'm long at eight sixty eight fifty now. It's gonna bank off that up there. I'm gonna reverse again. I don't like the way this looks. I'm gonna take a loss. <sighs> I wasn't focusing. All right, I got time to recover here. So, so right now my position is eight sixty eight sixteen uh, on a short, guys. Yeah, I see two of you passed me. Yeah, I missed this scalp here. I should have slipped it around here. Uh, I was talking to you guys, and this is what happens. I should have banked off the fib, and right there when it hit that fib, I should have gone long. So that I, I lost like fifteen hundred bucks probably or something. So that was a bad move. And then I had to take a loss of a couple hundred bucks. So I'm probably $2,000 less than I could have been if I just wasn't jabbering away telling you guys what to do. So it happens. Looking for it on that four hour. This time I'm going to take it there. 866.22. It's that four hour, 865.99. So it's a little. So I'm at 866.22 long. So it's been tapping down here. So I wanted to catch it this time, like I didn't a minute ago, and uh, ride it back up to this right up here to like 169, 169.50. It go over it went over it up to like almost one one eight seven not one eight eight i mean eight almost went up to 870 here oh there it goes wow so this there, there it goes so here i am talking again so uh 868 can it get to 870 it's 869 it's a nice trade there Wow, it's strong here, guys. Look at it come across. I'm going to grab it there. 871.42. So I saw this coming across. Oh, it's still going. So it's going to hit that fib. Or it's going to, or it's going to pull up this point of control. So I, I got it a little too early for here. This is a reversal. You've got a fib. You've got the upper of the volume profile pushing it. Those arrows are telling you most likely going to turn around. So respect it. You know, until until you don't. That's what you do. You respect it until you don't. I could hear a pin drop, huh? Yeah, I'm looking for this to pull back, little guys. I, I, I'm, I'm on a short 871.42. 871.42, looking for it to pull back. Back here. I want it to pull back here and then bounce again. That's what I'm looking to do to catch some sort of a scalp there. Wow, I'll take that. Eight. God, man, I thought I got that at 869. 870. 
but I banked a little bit of a cushion there. But well, if it keeps going, then I'm, uh, you just never know for sure. It could just go, <laughs> you know. Just, but I'm trying to catch. So there's a risk. Clearly, there's a risk. So boy, did it did it, did it bang against that hard right here. So this could be about ready to retrace, and I'm in a long. So I would say that anywhere down in here, I'd have to reverse. So I'm looking for my stop loss here. I'm just just getting prepared. I'm going to reverse it there, 24. It looks like this is going to pull it down rather than up. Looking for it to pull back down. Eight, 872, 21 short. I'll take that, 870, 71. Not, not ideal. Yeah, I thought I was gonna. It was, I saw it moving down. I thought I was gonna. It was gonna jump toward me as I as I reversed, but it didn't really move. It just kind of stopped it. <laughs> so I kind of would have liked to get it a little lower here, but you know, I banked a lot on those little scalps. Uh, another three thousand bucks over the last three or four trades. So, yeah, there it goes down more. So I'm looking right here. It just seems to be wanting to ping pong bomb, you know, a pinball right here. It did this channel. Now it's doing this channel. So we could get a breakdown or a breakout or it could just keep doing it. And I, you know, I can, the slippage isn't, slippage isn't too bad. I can profit with this in here. So that rickshaw man didn't really turn it around strongly here. Uh, it is banging on the one hour. This is getting too too high for me consistently. So I'm getting a little worried yeah, that's another definitive answer with that big shadow wick. Um, but if this is, I mean, it's been trying to turn around to come down here for a while. Yeah, that did it everywhere. So guys, I'm I'm not going to trade for too much longer. I'm Broke 25K here, so I'm doing, feeling pretty good about it. Guys, are, I want to have used 28,000 up there. That's I don't know how you did that. That's You definitely caught, you caught up on those scalps better. I'm in second place, it appears. 28,000, good for you. A couple of 23, so yeah, then we're dropping down to the 15s and 13s over here. But it's a great day. Um, Nvidia is always just you know, you gotta you got a down payment for a new car at the very least, right? Every time you trade Nvidia, so um. Of course, that depends on your car. You know, you know some of these guys have like two hundred fifty thousand dollar cars. God knows why you would need a car like that. But and I can't, I can't get into the Teslas. I just, I just, they just. Sorry, it's just me. I just think they're ugly. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> if I would spend a quarter of a million on a car, it better look wicked cool. You know, like really cool. That's just me. Kind of a trophy piece when you're spending that kind of money, right? Because a Honda is just fine. <laughs> Hondas are great cars. You can get those for like 30, 40K, 50K now. I don't know exactly uh, how much they are these days. but uh, And they've got a really good uh, collision rate and airbags everywhere and um, great mileage. And uh, I don't own any stock in Honda. Don't get me wrong. I just I don't like the idea of spending um, a lot of money on something that you 
can get you the same thing for one fourth the money can do the same job so you just you're just doing it because the way it looks so you're playing that game you know um, so that's not that's not me now I do like to spend money on a good boat <laughs> so um, but that comes down to the speed you know whoa here we go I'm not going to reverse this time so so I'm going to look for a good position to get out here got wow is it going to break that four hour wow look at the look at this it so it did it broke out finally when it broke out from this little mess here like a flat top here on the fib it really broke out it broke through here and it's pulling the pony control up and it's continuing look at the buyers look at that there is no reason to get out of this trade right now guys that's it's eight eight seventy eight So there's the ATR up there. Is it possible? That's all the way up here, though. 894, I don't think so. But uh, certainly not for me to wait around for it. But but look at this. There's the upper end of the uh, VWAP. That's what that is. There's the 9 moving average. There's the 20. There's the VWAP. It's pulling everything up. And you're going to see the volume profile snap up here because this is where most of the buying action is, buying and selling. It's going to pull back there. Kind of like to get over 30, guys. I'm holding to see if that's just a little pullback. See if this can take me over 30. It looks better on the video. <laughs> More sensational. There it is, 30. I, I'm, I'm okay to hold this move. I'm okay to hold this move. So, wow, <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, okay, I'm going to get out there. I can't believe that just happened. That was eleven dollars, eleven points. That just moved eleven points on the last move. Just really focusing, and it's still going. Now it's hitting the two hundred over here. This is the two hundred. Now a lot of people may that may be a resistance. It looks like it's tapping the two hundred on the five minute and turning around. There's the one hundred. There's the fifty. Um, Thirty-two. Thirty-two is our leader, our winner. I'm stopping, guys. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to see all the videos that we have, um, gauging which way the market goes every morning, how to set up your scanner so you don't have to pay for a service, how to set up this, how to build this entire platform uh, layout here. Um, just all so many great videos, and they made them easier to find. They're starting to make. I don't know when they're going to be done. I think this week they'll be done with the whole channel layout, and then. Um, then they got to work on the playlist, I guess, after that. Um, and then give any feedback, what you guys think about how their, the professionals are saying the channel should look. My picture's been taken off all the candlesticks, uh, I mean the thumbnails. It was said it was hard to see anyway. So uh, not because um, they didn't think it should be there, just it would have to be a much bigger picture. And basically I said it's not about me. You know, it's about uh, the strategies here. So, okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Stay green out there. Be careful.